Do you, do you see some parallel between what is happening with the army and how Stalin had those major purges of the Red Army just before the Second World War? Is that a similar sort of reaction of a, a dictator who is becoming very wary and suspicious of what is happening around him? You could even say paranoid, just as Stalin was clearly paranoid at various stages. Uh, but we, we have that added component with Xi Jinping is that his background uh, as an alcoholic. He, uh, is, there's a long history uh, of evidence of him engaging throughout his career uh, from an early stage uh, in pr pr prolonged drinking bouts. Uh, and he's still very much committed to a policy of alcohol uh, use as part of the bonding sessions within within the Communist Party leadership. So uh, this makes him like Lieutenant General Leopoldo Galtieri, who in 1994 started a war with Britain over the Falkland Islands. Uh, and this was a, the decision of a, of a paranoid alcoholic who was about to be thrown out of office and decided to undertake a very rash move uh, to try to save his presidency. It didn't save his presidency. He underestimated the response. Uh, and the question is, Will Xi Jinping attempt something similar, a Galtieri moment, or will the People's Liberation Army stop him from doing that? And if they do, then what happens to the country? Uh, does the, the PLA become a more dominant feature within the Communist Party? Uh, so it becomes not just uh, the, the army of the party, but the party becomes a, a cat's paw for the, for the military. I mean, may, may go back then to a warlord type of situation as we saw uh, in uh, Mao Zedong's era and that was Mao's big problem to, to bring the PLA under control and to stop the regional warlords from acting as though they were sovereigns in their own right. Um, so th there are a lot of problems uh, coming up and the question is uh, what what will the PLA, or sorry, or the Communist Party of China do in this instance? Uh, do they dare to cut back on military expenditure? Do they dare to stop uh, supporting some uh, programs of food relief and the like for the population? Because at any stage, the, the balance could be tipped. And uh, Xi Jinping, as I think we've discussed before, uh, is highly conscious of the fact that the whole movement against the imperial uh, throne uh, after the Dowager Empress died in 1908 was uh, based on uh, unrest in the cities by rural workers who'd come to the city and not been able to find work. And that was at a time when 5% of the Chinese population was urbanised. Today, it's uh, over 67% of the population which is urbanised, and we've got unrest and unemployment on a vast scale. You could argue that half of the Chinese population is unemployed or, or effectively unemployed, because the statistics, which are absolutely not to be believed, in any event, only cover urban populations. They don't even cover the rural population. 